Hi everybody, <coughs> this is Dr. Astan Lawati. Today I'll be talking about pituitary apoplexy. <coughs> so pituitary apoplexy is basically means pituitary infarction. And that can occur due to the pre-existing adenoma, <coughs> which is usually non-functioning. Sometimes in postpartum, it can be due to what we call Shahan syndrome. So patient usually will present with headache and meningeal signs and they may present to you with sign of or symptoms of adrenal insufficiency like low blood pressure, dehydration, hyponatremia. Now when you review such patient and you have a clinical suspicion of the diagnosis First of all, you need to support to provide supportive care and replace the patient with fluid and electrolyte, correct their hyponatremia and hypotension. <clears throat> it is very important to consider empirical hydrocortisol replacement with high doses. You can give the patient 100 mg of hydrocortisol IV stat and then you keep them on a higher doses until you rule out the diagnosis. Then you need to assess the pituitary function by sending LH, FSH, testosterone level, prolactin, TSH, and morning cortisol level, along with IGF-1 and growth hormone, if required. Following that, you should proceed with an MRI of the brain to confirm the diagnosis. Now, your approach of treatment will based on the clinical presentation. If the patient is presenting with deterioration of the level of consciousness, with deterioration of neuroophthalmic signs, then you need to consider urgent neurosurgical decompression therapy. If the patient is clinically stable, you can close observe him. And if he is stable, then you continue conservative management by, by replacement therapy. So that's a simple approach of how you deal with a patient with pituitary apoplexy. If you have any comment, please write them below. Thank you.